Hey guys, this is Dr. Glitch and welcome back to a brand new video. First of all, before I begin with the video, I just want to apologize to you guys for not uploading in a really long time. The reason for that was because I was busy with some personal things, but you guys can start expecting regular videos from now on. With that being said guys, as the title of the video suggests, I'm going to be showing you guys how to increase your download speed on your PS5 console just by using a few simple tricks. You're going to be able to dramatically increase your download speed. In fact, I was absolutely surprised to see my download speed go up more than 20 times with the help of this method. I'm actually going to be showing you guys before and after results of using this method so that you guys know how effective it is and how to do it yourself. Also, just to let you guys know, we're going to be in the exact same network. It doesn't really matter if you have slow internet speed. This method is still going to help you guys give a great push to speed up your existing connection. All right, guys, so the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the internet speed that I have right now so that we can compare it to the speed that we're going to get later on in the video. All right, so as you guys can see, the connection speed that we're working with right now is around 4 Mbps of download speed and uh, just 300 Kbps of upload speed, which is, to be honest, not that great in my opinion. And we're gonna change that by using the steps that I'm gonna be showing you guys in this video. But before that, let me just uh, try and download a game so that we can compare it, uh, compare the download speed, uh, I mean the download time of the game before and after. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and download Days Gone. And now let's go back and check the amount of time that it's gonna take uh, in order to download this game. So I'm gonna go over to download copies. And as you guys can see, it's gonna take about uh, 10 hours or let's just, say, let's just give it eight hours to download a game that is 42 GBs in size. Now again, this is before we've uh, made any kind of tweaks to the console. So let's just make all the changes and see the amount of difference that we can get in the download and upload speed after we've made all the changes. All right, guys, so the first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to head over to settings and then scroll down and go on to save data and game app settings. Scroll down again and go on to automatic downloads. And this is what you want to switch off. You don't want anything else to download while you're downloading a file that you need. So. Once you do this, go up to system and then scroll down again, or excuse me, just go on to system software and then go on to report system software errors and then turn it off as well. Go back again and then scroll up and go over to user and accounts. Scroll down again and go on to other, go over to restore licenses and just click on it, hit restore. It's going to take a couple seconds uh, in order to restore licenses. Once it's done, hit OK. Go back again. Now we're going to go on to network. And then once you're in this screen, you're going to go on to settings. And then go over to set up internet connection. It's going to take a couple seconds to scan Wi-Fi networks. And then once you see your connection, you're going to have to click on it and then scroll down and go on to advanced settings. Go down again to DNS settings and uh, switch it to manual. Once you switch it to manual, you're gonna see two more options that you need to fill in. So on the primary DNS, you're gonna be typing in 1.1.1.1 and then hit okay. And for the secondary DNS, you're gonna be typing in 1.0.0.1. So once this is done, you're gonna hit okay and we're gonna have to wait for it to connect to that uh, particular dns server all right so now that it's done let's just test our internet connection speed and compare it to the speed that we got earlier in the video so i'm just gonna go ahead and click on test internet connection all right so as you guys can clearly see the download speed that we're getting right now is 80.7 mbps and the upload speed is 85 mbps which is kind of surprising because the download speed was way less than the upload speed earlier in the video and now it's actually more than the upload speed now let's just go ahead and check uh, the amount of time that is remaining for days gone to download all right so as you guys can see uh, it's only about an hour left for days gone to download which is significantly different to what we saw earlier so it went from seven hours to just about an hour which is which I'm, in my opinion is a massive difference 
so that was pretty much the video guys i hope you find this video helpful and if you did please do not forget to leave a like to this video and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel thanks a lot for watching i'll talk to you guys in the next one